Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be talking about a tool that has ended up being the industry standard when it comes to creating fabrics, clothes, and actually doing simulations with them. And today we're talking about a tool known as Marvelous Designer. So Marvelous Designer is not like the main tool itself, you know, like you guys have come to know. Just a bit of a back history, Marvelous Designer was actually called from a tool known as Clo 3D. So previously before now, Clo 3D was like the main tool, a lot of people use and it was way more technical compared to more artistic like marvelous designer although over time they've gone ahead to build up a whole lot of things and begin to introduce features that existed in clo into marvelous designer and some of the features that have been making their way gradually from clo 3d into marvelous designer just in case you don't know are things that has to do with virtual stitching stuff i mean like you can go ahead and literally put stitches that has to work with alphas directly on your model yeah Yes, and also the buttons. Those button stuff that you find in Marvelous right now, they've always existed in Clo, but now they are making their way closer and closer to Marvelous Designer. Over and over within the years, we've seen a lot of people adopt Marvelous Designer over, you know, their DCC uh, solvers that they use for clothes simulation and also soft body dynamics. It has also turned to the gold standard when it comes to cashing out things that has to do with clothes. Generally, everything that has to do with clothes, you can actually come over to Marvelous Designer and you can do that today there is an update to this tool so within the last few months there was an update to marvelous designer 8 and it uh, actually marvelous designer it actually came with a couple of things like you know creating uvs sculpting directly in marvelous designer exporting remeshing and bringing in mesh directly from whatever 3d app and also simulating that mesh but today there is a couple of updates that has been made you know that has been brought into this tool and they are not so much but i think for the main part or for the most part these uh, updates would be really really cool so the very first one is the ability for you to now make use of your gpu to actually make simulations now from the guys at clo virtual fashion they've gone ahead to say that this new update of the simulation that you can do with the gpu it actually helps make your simulation faster but if you want to get like a way more calculated drapings and all those beautiful stuff that you want to get of course you can go ahead and you know cash these things out or you know simulate this by using a cpu now the downtime or the time for simulation when you are working with a CPU versus a GPU is quite huge because you can actually tell from the video which you're seeing right now that you know you can actually get things to work way faster and then you can go ahead and actually make the draping way more realistic by just simply using a CPU which I still don't know why they couldn't go ahead to fix it for the GPU but I guess over time this is gonna make sense and hopefully we would be able to enjoy the power of GPU in Marvelous Designer. They've actually not said anything about the sculpting tool within this particular update that has been released, but of course they've gone ahead to talk about the symmetry and this time I think they actually reworked the entire symmetry when it comes to really really working the symmetry. So the symmetry now does not just work half and half like you know you get to do your symmetry before, but now you can go ahead and start your symmetry from a very simple edge and from there you can build an entire body of clothes by just using symmetry this would save a lot of artists a huge time and there's also some other few stuff that they've added things that has to do with brush based subdivision so you know how you whenever you're sculpting things like zbrush or maybe you're using dean topo and you choose to make use of things like you know relative or constant when you're working with your brush yes that kind of feature is now something that has been added to marvelous designer so you can select a certain region and you can only actually add subdivision within that place things that you can actually do with things like sculptus pro yes something like that that exists in zbrush now you can do that directly here so where you need high details you can go over and actually select that place and cause more subdivision to happen there and you can have you know high details happening there speaking about retopology the retopology in marvelous designer is still there and it makes a lot of sense to actually know that you can export your high dense mesh as quads retopod stuff and other things i'm very very grateful about is also the idea that they have for making it possible for you to still move your uvs or create your patterns and then get uvs out of them 
And if you're wondering, Marvelous Designer 9 is currently available for pre-order. So just in case you want to get it. And yes, there is a perpetual license, which is going to cost you 490, approximately $500 to get. And I'm not a huge fan for rental. So I would advise you can go ahead and just purchase this app and own it for life. But if you want to rent this, of course, the rental actually starts at $50 per month. And you can go ahead and work with this. And once you're done, maybe you don't want to use it for a couple of time maybe you just want to rent it for a month of course you can also go ahead and get it and marvelous designer is also supported for windows mac os and also for linux i guess you would be able to find something that will suit your platform once you go ahead and you know try to purchase this so this is marvelous designer 9 and these are the incredible features that are in this new app i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below have you used marvelous designer are you planning on learning how to make use of marvelous designer we have a sister channel known as zarif link is going to be in the description and also on the end note so you can go through and learn marvelous designer as a beginner as an advanced artist whatever thing you want to do as far as it's marvelous designer i think that channel got you covered so you can go ahead and check it out and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.